Hello techies, welcome back to our channel UiPath by Sujita. In this video we are going to learn uh, the differences and the common points between two uh, simple and very familiar activities related to workbook. Those are right range workbook and append range workbook. Okay, so uh, even though you are very familiar with these activities, you know the concept very well. But still I would like to highlight few points regarding these um, common functionalities and the different functionalities be be uh, between these two activities. Okay, uh, damn sure you will definitely get one new point out of this video. Uh, so let's, let's move on. Okay, so workbook versus append range workbook okay so let's go to the studio so go to activities panel and search for range workbook yeah you'll see uh, two different uh, yeah activities append range workbook and write range workbook okay we have other uh, activities also for the same purpose that means appending and writing uh, to an excel but let us concentrate scope of this video is to concentrate on the workbook part okay range workbook okay so appending and writing let us see let us see in detail okay let's take a new fresh page to make you understand one by one let us see so right range, right range workbook. Right range. Yeah, append range. Now, the name itself conveys, right? Keeping beginners in uh, view, I'll uh, explain in detail from pin to pin, okay? Let me see this right range workbook. What does this mean? Why we use, when to use this? Based on the name itself explains you clearly. Writing the range in a workbook. Right? Writing. That means we are copying. What is going to copy data from data table to a workbook. Sheet. Right? What does append range do? The name itself, as I said, name itself explains clear, right? See uh, clearly, yeah, append. It is appending the data, appending the data from data table to a workbook sheet. Now again, for beginners, what does this appending mean? Appending is nothing but writing or copying the data from a data table to a workbook sheet from the next available or existing row okay it is not directly copying or writing the data wherever it wants rather it will start from the next empty row okay say for example there are uh, some three rows in the sheet already okay if you use append range workbook it will start from the next available empty row that is the fourth one okay rather the right range workbook will start from the beginning okay or it will start from the existing uh, uh, whatever range you provide okay so let us write this out starts copying from the first cell what is the first cell that is a1 or from the given or provided range okay 
so if you have given uh, 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 say a 13 it will start from here okay so that's how it will behave whereas the append range it will starts copying data from the next available empty row okay that means say this is our next available empty row fifth right so this is an example what if you uh, have not provided the range in right range workbook okay i said we uh, we, we we will have one uh, uh, what is that start range option from properties okay so if if you are if you give this empty is it mandatory no this is not a mandatory option so now if if you keep this empty what it will do what it will do is it will start from the first cell okay if start range is not given it will copy the data from the first cell okay that means a1 what if uh, i mean for append range it's not applicable because there is no option itself start range option itself is not there right start range option itself is not available because by default it starts from next available row okay yeah let me give the proper name of the option it is starting cell okay the name of the option is starting cell otherwise uh, beginners may get confused they may search for the proper uh, option yeah fine now let's move on to the other one now sheet right it it is updating in a sheet what if you don't give the sheet name if there is an option called sheet name which it is uh, looking for the sheet name you are going to provide the sheet name what if you leave it as blank will it proceed no in both the cases in right range workbook and in append range workbook if you are not going to provide the sheet name if you keep the sheet name as blank it will not proceed further because it will throw a red alert red red dot uh, what it says sheet name is not provided okay okay now good all good you have provided the sheet name but at the background in the workbook maybe the sheet name is not uh, 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 is not matching with the one which you have given okay because while you coding it it can't go and test whether you are giving the right sheet name or not right somehow it has accepted the sheet name because you you fill the field but let let me go back say so suppose yeah this is the sheet name okay you you have given a sheet name so that means it has accepted if you have not given the sheet name so it it will give one exception saying are baba you are supposed to give the sheet name value for a required activity or human sheet name was not supplied okay now you have given the sheet name but at the background this sheet name is not matching with the existing ones in the yeah because i'm working on sheet 7 right maybe sheet 1 is not available okay so then what what how it behaves right range workbook what it will do is it will create a new sheet okay if sheet name is not match that means sheet not 
available with the provided sheet name okay what it will do it will creates a new sheet and copies data okay and writes data rather than copy i can say and writes data what it will do append range same yes this also creates the new sheet and writes the data from the beginning cell because the new sheet is not going to have any data that means it will by default starts from the beginning cell okay now say for example whatever sheet you have uh, sheet name you have given maybe it is matching matching with the existing sheet in the workbook now what if the data is already there if suppose i have this data what this right range will do right range workbook if data is available in sheet it will override the data okay right range workbook is going to override the data in your sheet okay from let, let us keep that keep that as a separate point okay it will override the data rather in append range workbook if data is available can anyone guess yes it will appends the data because append range book itself its its work its duty is to append the data from the next available blank row available empty row okay it will not do anything with the existing data it will not do anything with the existing data okay now how it is going to override say for example i have some seven rows in the uh, excel i mean sheet in the workbook sheet now how it is going to override is it going to clear off the entire data and it will start from the beginning no it will override it will not clear off the complete data rather it overrides only within the data table range okay so if the data table what it is going to uh, write has only two rows then only the first two rows will be overwritten the next all will be as it is okay that's how whereas it is not applicable in the append range because it is it will always work from the empty row okay next empty row fine let me make this clear because beginners they should not get one more question right okay did i use anywhere else no right okay fine now how it saves data it saves the data immediately okay similarly even in append range workbook it saves the data immediately now let me give you a demo okay i'm just going to use the append range data now what it is going to update it is going to update the weather report excel file 
let us see what is there in that file now then we can understand clearly so we have data till 11 through now let us run this report from main 